Hey, it's your girl, Cece, and we are so excited. We are here at Chic Shoes, one of the hottest spots on the West Coast to grab your sneakers. And right now we are here with Jada Kiss, and we're going to talk about Friday the 47th. I'm excited about it. So LRG, we know LRG has been part of the culture, has been part of the community for over 20 years, and you rock them in your videos, but now it's coming full circle for you. And of course they're saying, you know, because your name is Jason and you have murdered some of our favorite rappers. We're going to go ahead and call it out right now. But how did this all come full circle again? Uh, I'm not sure. I think Def Jam, my record label reached out or LLG reached out to Def Jam and then they reached out to me. About, and you were like, hell yeah, I'm with it. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. You know, Jason, Jason. Murdering your favorite Friday rapper. The 47th. You know? I love it. It I all fits. It. it all kind of coincides. It does. And to be honest with you, the hoodies are fly. Let's just go ahead and talk about that right now. Nice. Some good, you know, they put some quality into the thread count. They did. And, and listen, I I'm all about detail and I'm about the, uh, the hoodie too. But let's talk about, let's go back and let's talk about Versus because we all agreed and we all watched it and you killed it. You outshined a lot of people on Versus, but you talked about Versus really helped you, you know, as far as like your price went up. Yeah, I mean, with today's, with the way today is and everything is digital and social media controls the world, it, you know, it kind of helps some people that forgot about what I do. Remember, it helps some of the new people that I didn't know, put them on board and it, it let, you know, the price went up right in front of your eyes or, you know, you see what it is. But when you help those people remember and you, and you grab those, those garner those new fans, first of all, that's always dope when you can grab new fans. So, so when you do that and, and you're on the verses, how, how did you appeal to that? Because we know who you are, you know what I mean? Especially being on K-Day and us rocking hip hop all day, everybody was so excited. But when you, got the, when you grab those new fans and they're like, yo, and it's just that brand new excitement, how does that feel? Oh, it felt good. I mean, honestly, I was just going there to, to try to win. It wasn't about, I had no idea none of all of the other stuff was gonna come. That's, that's a blessing from the, you know, the higher powers, but I just truly wanted to win and not get embarrassed in Madison Square Garden. And you guys, you guys went ahead and you guys practiced for a minute with that, huh? Yeah, yeah, we did a couple of days rehearsal. You know what I mean? Just to sharpen the, sharpen the tools. Now, let's move along to uh, DJ Khaled because uh, on his album, God Did, you know, there's a song that's called Jada Kiss Interlude. With DJ Khaled, you know, every time I think about him as a producer, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I think about positivity. There's not a lot of positivity when we're in this industry moving, but when we can grab them and we can hone them, then it, it is very special. But what makes Khaled different from a lot of other producers besides him being positive? Because I think that is a key factor. He's one of the most persistent and consistent people ever. Like, whatever he needs from you, he'll, he'll bother you in a good way. He, he's even, his annoying is even positive. It's blessings, right? Yeah, Come on, you can't even be mad at DJ Khaled. He's waiting for a verse, he'll just text you, I'm sending you nothing but blessings, <laughs> and I'm sending, like. I'm I sending you nothing but blessings, but holla back. I need my verse here, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, he, he's good at, getting what he needs from whoever he needs it from, and that's a gift that he has. Now, this is something that I've been so excited to talk to you about because it's dear to my heart. So we wake up every single morning at 4 a.m. Um, Kiss Cafe Coffee, you, your son, your father, first of all, congratulations. Second of all, I think it's super dope that you're able to do something a little different from hip hop, right? Because that's different. And that threw everybody for a curve when we saw that. We're like, for, I didn't even think you drank coffee. And I'm a fan. So the fact that I'm like, yo, you are building generational wealth. That's generational wealth for your son with your father. Like, let's talk about, about your uh, Kiss Cafe coffee. Like, tell us what we're gonna expect to, from it because I'm really into like the dark roast. I like the French roast. So talk to me about coffee. Um, you no, know, my dad was in coffee for like 40 something years, uh, I think. Ever since I was two years old, or when right around the time I was born, he worked for the Je Maxwell House 
coffee division and he it intrigued him and he took a liking to it and then he had worked for a couple other companies and then eventually got his own company, Katora. And um it was always his dream to do a, a coffee with me. But the timing was never right. And like after you were just saying verses with all of the shift of the social media and, you know, kind of a lot of different eyes on me and, you know what I mean? I mean, different eyes would be di different deals, different opportunities, different types of conversations. Exactly. So it was just, a, he felt it was a good time to do it. And um, we start, he started roasting some different blends and when we came up with a good one, we was, you know, we just, so what is this out. blend? Tell me, tell me about the, the blend. The first one is beiju. It means kiss in Portuguese, and um. Is it like a fruity, a dark? No, no, it's a good. It's how uh, Kiss Cafe is not for like coffee snobs. My dad likes to say like you know you could go to. No, nah, you're not. You okay. like coffee. You're right. kind of sore, like you said, but you know what I mean. It ain't. You'll take a good cup over an, an expensive cup. Absolutely. And we try to make it for people like you that when you work in the morning, you really need, as, as well as liking it, you need it to help you get through, you know, your segments of, of work. So the coffee's a good, it's a great tasting coffee. Um, it's Colombian mixed with South America, I would say. Uh, Brazilian mix with South American, excuse me. Um, but I, 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 let me just get a little deep with coffee because I'm going to get deep with you with this coffee thing. I wake up every day at 4 o'clock in the morning. When I have my cup of coffee, I have to have it because it's like, it's a hug. It's a hug. It's That's warm. why you need this Kiss Cafe. It's yes. going gonna, gonna to do everything you need. It's like me in a coffee. There it is. You got to grab it at this point. That's what I'm talking about. Come on. No, definitely. We're ordering it. You don't understand. We were talking about. order up. Yes. Kisscafecoffee.com. Order up. Um, we got K-Cups. You can check the website out as well. Kisscafecoffee.com. We got K-Cups. We got, we're going to have different roasts. Um, it's just beautiful. Yeah. We, we want the coffee to speak for itself. Of course, I'm the face of it, but the product is really good. It's not, you know, we ain't, this is not like a money play. I really have skin in the game. My dad well, is like, like the El Chapo years. coffee. Yeah, he really knows about coffee. So it's a good product. Try it. Now, I seen on Instagram that, and this is kind of cool, I think, of you, first of all, because you don't have to do this, but you are actually looking for new artists to work with. And I saw one of your videos, you're like, it's really me. Don't ask me, it's really me. Um, is there any new artist from the West Coast that has stood out to you? Because we are on the West. I mean, with that program that I do, it's really for promo artists that can't get no, you know, you, you've been working for years and you just feel like you're on a treadmill. So, you know, somebody with me 20 some years in the game, I just try to promo whatever new stuff you have. So I had, amazing artists from all over the world, but it ain't really. Has there, has there been any that has really like, just like kind of stood out where you're like, you know what, I might want to work with this person, like closely. It was a couple female R&B artists that I heard that was dope. It was a couple young drill artists that was spitting. It was, it was a lot of different. Now, I like the work, so I don't, I don't really put myself in a box or make it territorial, East Coast, West Coast. I think good music is good music and good artists are good artists no matter where they're from. If you no, just close that. your eyes and heard the song or heard the him or her, you don't, it don't matter where they're from. If the, if the music touches soul, is good music. Give me an artist I need to Google right now. Nino Man. Okay, there it is. Y'all need to Google right now. Uh, let's talk about your, your daily regimen because Jada, we look at you, you're successful, you're humble, you've been in the game for a long time. But there's a lot of artists that are breaking out that don't have that tough skin that you have. It's hard. And we've had to build this tough skin throughout the industry. So what is a daily regimen that works for you? Because when I look at you, I, I'm going to be honest, I'm like successful 
you know, brilliant, whatever he does, I need to try it because I got to apply that to my life. So, and it's true. So a lot of praying, pray, excessive praying, over pray. Over pray. Over pray. Now, nah, but me, I like to get, I like to work out. Um, you know, if for one, you got to get up super early because most of the money that moves around in the world is it moves around by 12 o'clock. So if you not on your job way before 12 noon, you might as well just wake up tomorrow and work on the next day because all of the real money already shifted in the world. Um, so I like to get up, work out early. See, that's something right there I'm going to take with me. Well, I wake up early anyways, yeah, but work. that's somebody that's somebody watching right now, an artist that probably doesn't wake up that's like, man, I need to, if Jada Kiss is telling me to wake up early, I'm going to wake up early. Yeah. Get up, work out, then uh, come back, check my agenda for the day if I got to do some, you know, media work or whatever. If not, I go to the studio and I stay there for the whole day until, you know, that's like the office. Right. Got to be in it to win it, you know, perfecting your craft, sharpening your steel as much as you can to, you know, keep yourself ready. And, and when you, you're ready, you don't have to get ready. And I'm glad you said that because it, really there's a couple things that people will pull. It's easy to say, oh, you know, just block out the negativity. That's easy. But when it's when you're reading it and it's about you, it stings a little. And sometimes, you know, so when we meet people like you and that are successful, we're like, well, what are they doing that we need no, to we, apply we, to our you lives? You use it as awesome. fuel. Yeah. You take all of the hate, the naysayers, the negativity towards you and use that as fuel. And, Know what I mean? And don't let that sit on you. Yeah, never let it sit. Absolutely. Now let's talk about. Uh, <laughs> we were on my live. Shout out to my listeners and our and your fans. So I went on live, and at Mason King two one three, I told you I was going to ask uh, Jada Kiss. He's a huge fan, and he said, "Please ask Jada Kiss, what's your favorite verse that you've ever written?" I got you, Mason. That's one of the hardest. The hardest questions for me to answer because I got a you know I did a lot I'm not that old but I got a lot of features and a lot of songs that I did that, that but there I has to really, be one that you're like yo I just I, I killed it with this one okay you stumped him we stumped him with this one with yeah, this you question stump, you stumped me you stumped me stumped me I don't know there it is. I can't answer that. Listen, go back and listen to his music and maybe you could pick out. I have to go numbers. back yeah. and listen to my music <laughs> and pick one. So we got a shout out to Ab Barber by Faith 89 on Instagram. And uh, they want to know, okay, this is hilarious. How did you come up with your favorite ad lib? Aha! <laughs> that was a great question. Um, in the studio, in Rough Riders Studio Powerhouse, when I would be recording with one of the engineers that recorded a lot of a lot of the your favorite songs you hear from me and myself and my brothers the locks and just the whole rough rider family chach was the name of the engineer um before it was time for my verse if my nose was stopped up or my ears or something was clogged up i would just make that <laughs> and then he happened to keep it so once he like they like come out the ver come out the booth, your verse is done, and he playing the verse. And before the verse came, he had the sound effect on there. I'm like, he like, yeah, nah, just kept it, because I used it as like a tension breaker to clear my throat and right. clear my ears and get everything right before I went into the verse. And I really got to give that credit to the engineer that was smart enough to keep it. But if you know anything about recording, anytime you, any artist or anything, you should record everything. Whenever I go in the booth, if I keep it or not, if it's messed up or if, I, if it's gonna make it to the world or not, the engineers, because life is short and you don't know what's gonna happen, you should keep everything. So that's like a, a sacred artist jewel that re, uh, for recording. But my man Chach kept the sound and then I just kept doing it, and it turned out to be like you like your signature, yeah. And it's crazy because we can't even when we sing a song, 
my co-host all the time. That's what he does all the time. So we love it. No, thank you so much for, for really spending time with us. And listen, uh, Friday the 47th hoodies are fire. Friday the 47th, get your hoodies. Shout out to LRG. You know what it is, baby. Shout out to LRG. Been down with the culture for over 20 years. Shout out to Chic Shoes, the hottest spot on the West Coast to grab your sneakers. And, of course, I invite you guys to get out here. Chic Shoes, get your shopping on. And, of course, always, always support this man. KissCafeCoffee.com. We're going to get some coffee up in here. Let's go. <laughs>